As urban jungle residents, we don't usually equate a relaxing weekend with exploring the streets of Manila. But Greg Doris, an American expat who's been living here for more than 40 years, will tell you otherwise. Aside from holding walking tours around Intramuros, Binondo, and Quiapo, he also owns Coco's Garden, a two-story American colonial-style wooden house which he rents out through Airbnb. You have a very, very, very charming home. How long have you lived here? This house, 16 years. Wow, and I see you decided to keep it this look, the Filipino classic. Now, what is it about Filipino-style architecture and interior design that you personally like? I like it because it's wood. I like it because it has some um, patina. It has a little bit of touch of style and age okay. and ambiance. Mm -hmm. Can I show you around? Yes, of course! Let's start upstairs. Greg has traveled all over the Philippines, which is why his home is filled with local antiques accumulated over the years. But the highlight of this home is this spacious bedroom. The guests at Coco's Garden will enjoy this spacious sanctuary along with the trivia of how this home got its name. Perhaps one of my most treasured things here is Oh, of course. Oh, is this Coco? That's Coco. And this was That's taken? That's when she was a puppy. This was about 10 or 12 years ago. This was okay. my cat, Scud. He okay. was my alter ego. Oh. Born in my lap. <gasps> really? The closest relationship I ever had with an <sighs> animal. I love that you are such an animal lover. There are a lot of um, I love um, animals here in your garden. And speaking of Coco, Coco is the reason this place is named Coco's, Coco's Garden. Yeah. Because Coco is the... Coco's my firstborn dog here. <laughs> Even Greg's kitchen has an aura of history. Well, let's talk about this beautiful, beautiful stove. Oh, the yeah. first thing I really see when I go into the kitchen. Mm. Tell us the story. Well, that belonged to my grandmother. She bought it new in 1952. Things like this are pretty heavy duty. These were made to last. Any other interesting, because you have a collection here of baskets. Baskets that I picked up along the way. You also have this other side, palayoks. So yeah, those are all from Kalinga. It's mm -hmm. so interesting that you have such a good kitchen that is easy to move in, but Especially for somebody who doesn't really cook. Yeah, I know. <laughs> who usually are the type of tenants that you get here for Airbnb? It's changed a lot over the years. And it started off where I was getting people who, who were here usually on business. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe doing some work in Manila. Yeah. And then now I get more people who are interested in just experiencing something authentically Filipino right. and Manileño. Amber, a blogger from California who relocated to Manila almost a decade ago, takes us to the Pitan Arcade in Quezon City. Known for affordable export quality home interiors and local handcrafted items. Here she gives us some tips in finding the right pieces. Find one really big affordable statement piece. You want to find something that can fill a whole wall or fill a table. I actually have this in my house hanging because it's such a perfect wall decor it's item. It's really cute. If you have a white wall, you could spray paint this like another color. Exactly. Find something that can be utilized in multiple places. So for example, if you buy a really nice wooden bowl here, that can be used to serve food, but that can also be used as a decor item in another room. On to our next stop, we're going to go around the corner to a plant store. Okay. Plant flowers because we want to add an element of life into our living space. I love it. Another huge statement piece are these wall planters. Oh! You'll see them on a small scale in restaurants, like on one yeah. wall, or on a larger scale. So that's cute! Like just... And then you buy these small things exactly. and you can put, well, real if you have the effort. And exactly. Green thumb. I have it turned this way and I have it as my headboard of my bed. That's and so, so cool. And so this one is 250 pesos. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Yeah, that's so cheap! So you could actually do a hundred pieces, like a whole wall, totally. for a thousand bucks and just buy air plants. You're good. From finding your next sanctuary to shopping for your home needs, Manila is the place to explore. Get to know your own city and you'll be surprised at its hidden charms and treasures. Up next, give your home experience a touch of Italy with furniture that speaks of quality and elegance. 